I'm going to show you how you can update your PlayStation 5 on safe mode using a USB flash drive. Open up a Chrome tab and after that you want to search up PS5 system software update like over here and I'm going to open the English version. So now once you search that up you want to make sure it's the official website of the PS5 and just click on it. And once you click on it, guys, what you want to do is you want to go and scroll down. So let me get rid of that. You'll find two files, guys. This is important. You want to get the right file. So if you only want to update without deleting anything on your PS5, you want to click on here. PS5 console update file. If you want to do the reinstallation file, so this is basically where you reset your PS5. So number seven. So yeah. So what we are going to do is we are just going to show you how to update on the PS5 using a USB drive. So what you can also do is open here a manual. It will also explain some stuff, but we are also going to show you how you can just do this. Now, where is my USB? So plug in your USB right now, guys, and also start already updating. So click on here. And then it will just automatically start updating but i already have it here so we are already done for that so let me open up my update file here we go so once you get your usb connected what you want to do is you want to make sure let me go back a little bit so what you want to do is make sure that everything on your USB right now, USB drive, if you have something on it, make sure that you drag it into your desktop or make a backup of it. So make sure that you have a backup of your USB drive if you have some files because we are going to format it. So what you need to do is click on USB and then you just want to go ahead and go over to format and then you want to go over to file system. And on here, guys, you will find NTFS and XFAT. So if you don't have FAT32 option, you can also choose XFAT. So that's what I choose. So once you click on here and click on start, it will start formatting for you. Here we go. So now let's reopen it. and now what you want to do is guys once you did the format you want to go ahead and open a new folder and you want to name it ps5 in capital letters so like this make sure it's in capital letters guys if you don't do it it will basically not work because i tried it myself out and it didn't work so on here once you open the ps5 file you want to also here make a file named update and then open this one up and then what you want to do is drag this thing over here and yeah now we are done so wait till this thing over here is done and then what you need to do is just plug it into your playstation 5 but we also have some steps on there so let's go so guys once you get your usb drive ready what you want to do is you want to plug it into your playstation 5 but uh, don't plug it on here guys go to the back and on here on the back you will actually find also some ports so let's plug it right here in let's go and here we go so now our usb is plugged in so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that there's no lights coming out here. So just go ahead and close your PlayStation. And if you still can access your PlayStation, guys, this is what I suggest you to do. So just go ahead and log in into your account. And you want to close it by uh, going to the quick menu. So let me grab my controller. So just press on here on the PSM button and then go here and power it off from here. So now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and wait till it's completely off. So that you see no more lights coming out. And by the way, guys, if you please go like and subscribe, thanks so much though. 
it will help me out so I can make more videos to help more people out. Now, if you see no more lights coming out, guys, what you want to do is now you can just plug in your controller. So plug your controller in and connect it to the PlayStation 5. So once you did that, what you want to do is make sure that the HDMI cable that you're using is directly connected to your TV and PS5. So do not use something like this over here, a Elgato game capture cord between it or a HDMI switch, like I told in my other videos. So make sure that there's only one cable connected and it's just directly with your PS5 and TV or monitor. So now, once you made sure that there's no lights coming out, if you see your orange light, guys, it means that you're in rest mode, so it's not completely closed off yet. So make sure that you close it off completely. Now, let me turn on this. You want to keep holding on the power button. And on the second beep, you want to stop holding. Don't hold way too long or you will uh, just, never mind. So now let's just go ahead and go to our screen. And also guys, I was just working out. So <laughs> um, let's go for the PlayStation 5. And now you will get the screen over here. Let me turn off my lights. So connect the controller using the USB cable. We already did that. Just press on here. And now, guys, you should see something like an update on here. Update system software, number three. Uh, do update from USB drive. And like you see, guys, now we get our updates. So that's how simple it basically is. And it worked perfectly fine. And this is how you can go ahead and update your PS5 using a USB drive from on safe modes. So yeah, take care, guys. And I'm going to continue working out. Like and subscribe.